All right, guys. This is going to be a bit of a different video. Uh, this is going to be a unboxing video. Uh, I actually got a package, a giant package, in the mail uh, this past weekend. Uh, I'm not showing the uh, top because I do not want you to. I do not want anybody to see my address or see my uh, my friend's address. So yeah, this is. Uh, so I got this giant package that we're going to unbox today. Uh, this com this actually comes from my friend. Uh, punk and metal nerd uh you, some of you might know him uh he's uh i talked to him a lot and uh i've sent uh album rips uh to him and uh he uh he had some stuff that he wanted to uh, get rid of and he offered some of it up to me and i picked out some stuff i wanted and he also uh threw in some extra items as well and uh he actually sent the uh package the uh, package out on uh, Monday the 1st, and it actually arrived uh, on Saturday the 6th. So yeah, this actually this actually came uh, pretty fast, uh, considering that it was coming all the way from Hawaii, which is which actually my friend uh, does live in Hawaii, for those who don't know. Uh, so yeah, this actually came from all the way from Hawaii to my state in like about a week so that's pretty fast and uh yeah so we are gonna just crack into this uh so yeah this is gonna be a little bit of a basically a little uh bonus video uh for those of you who actually uh follow for those of you who actually uh follow my uh my new uh playlist that i'm working on uh this will be a this video will be a playlist exclusive so yeah so hopefully you guys are are able to uh find this video and uh, actually, yeah, right there, right over there is actually a, some uh, some media that because uh, actually I'm I I'm, I am recording this on Monday, August eighth. Uh, this might be up uh, sometime in the next like couple days in the time that I'm recording this. Uh, so actually, right there is a, some a, a pile of stuff that I did get this past weekend, but I'm gonna probably just save that for another video. Anyway, so we are gonna crack into this uh package uh so i'm guessing i'm gonna i'm just gonna assume the, the the side with the label is the top part so uh and i'm filming and yes i am filming this with the webcam because uh i just think it would be a lot easier um so let's get my uh my trusty uh box cutter and let's crack into this so i am pretty excited about some of the stuff uh, that's i know is in here Uh, yes, this is the top part. All right. Oh yeah, I I see some stuff. I see some cool stuff already. Um, so we got some newspaper. All right. Oh wow. Oh. oh, here we go. I was looking for, oh wow. So we do have a note here. Uh, I see, like, you put a bunch of uh, notes and stuff on this. Oh, okay, I can... So we, so we do have a note here. Um, let's see, uh, hey, BHS and CD Brony, that's me, obviously, uh, thank you for your order from me and your rips of CDs for me, hope you enjoy, and also, also just a FYI, there are some bonus items in this box, <laughs> yeah, yes, I can definitely tell that already, thanks, Punk and Mel Nerd 4, so that's cool, 
Um, yeah, so as you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, and yeah, so there are some CDs and so, so this is like a mixture of CDs and VHS tapes. Uh, I knew he was sending me some of this stuff, and uh, but there are some stuff I did not know about. Um, so yeah, so I guess we'll just go through these. Uh, I guess we'll I guess we'll just start with this. Uh, so we got this uh, CD. Uh, it says bonus item number six. Uh, last track does not play. So this is a CD here of. Uh, Grateful Dead, uh, I guess, self-titled album. You see it just comes in this uh, paper sleeve here. And, uh... Ooh, ooh wow. Yeah, yeah, uh... Here's the disc. So yeah, here's the disc. And, uh... Yeah, you can see, uh... Yikes, uh... That, uh... That has seen some better days. Wow. That is... That is pretty bad. Uh, actually, yeah, it looks like... Wow. Yeah, like, you can see, you can actually see the, the front side is actually starting to show through some of the, uh, the, the back side. So, yeah, this thing uh, has definitely uh, seen some better days. So, uh, yeah, so probably, uh, probably not going to uh, keep this uh, just because it's in really bad condition. But... Uh, Still, it was nice of him to uh, put that in there. Uh, then we got a then we got a VHS tape. Uh, yeah, I, okay, I do see why he got rid of this one. Uh, it's uh, Hercules, but uh, as you can see, bonus item number one: bootleg tape copied from original VHS. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I can definitely tell this is a uh, a bootleg copy. Uh, looks like the clamp looks like the clamshell got pretty uh, destroyed in shipping. And, uh, oh yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely a bootleg, as you can tell. So, yeah, obviously I don't, obviously I don't really collect, uh, bootleg tapes anymore, because, uh, I just, I think they're kind of, uh, pointless, but, uh, see, I don't really collect, uh, bootleg tapes anymore, but, uh, still, again, nice thing to throw that in there, so... Yeah, I'm probably just going to uh, probably donate this one as well. Although I might put it in, into a better uh, put it into a better uh, clamshell, or maybe I'll just I don't know. See, I don't know if I really want to donate this one because it is a bootleg, but uh, I don't know. So, all right. Uh, okay, so this so this is actually so there are a bunch of VHS tapes and stuff in here, and. Uh, See, this, this was the one VHS tape that uh, I knew was coming to me because uh, I did say I was interested in this VHS tape. Uh, this is the how do you how do you say that the Sicilian Sicilian uh, Simino's original uncut version exclusively on home video. Yeah, it says before the Godfather there was the. Cillian, however you say that. So yeah, I was kind of interested. I thought this movie looked kind of interesting, so yeah, so I figured I would buy this tape off of him. You see, it's a Vestron videotape. It, uh, it, the film is from 1987, and this is a 1988 VHS. Here's the tape with the sticker label, and no print date, and it does have this uh, barcode sticker right there. And this does appear to be a former rental, though I do not know what video store it's from. So yeah, it looks like it's in pretty, yeah, it definitely is in pretty uh, worn out condition. Uh, I mean, it is a rental, so that makes sense, but uh, hopefully it plays okay, so, so yeah. All right, um, let's see, I, I guess we'll just, uh, I guess we'll just go through the VHS tapes. Uh, so we got, uh, oh, uh, oh, 
bonus bonus item number four plays halfway then stops in my vcr <laughs> okay that's interesting uh so so we have uh obviously godzilla nighttime eight bhs so i guess this tape is uh damaged so i guess that's why he was getting rid of this one so some of these i do see why he was uh getting rid of um yeah, you can see it's it is at the halfway point actually. Uh, number sixty eight, the thirty eighth week of nineteen ninety eight. So yeah, hopefully this. See, I'll, I guess I'll see if I can uh, get this tape to play on my VCR. If not, then maybe I can. If if it do, if it do, and if it works okay, maybe I'll just donate it or maybe keep it. Yep, you can see actually uh spines are a little faded. So yep, we have Godzilla there. Alright. So then we got uh I'll save I'll save those three VHS tapes for last. Uh oh, oh yeah, I'll okay, I'll save those I'll save those four. Uh next next one up is another bonus item, and that is a as you can see, a this is bonus item number three. As you can see, this is a pretty, uh, pretty destroyed copy of uh, Titanic on VHS. Yeah, you can see uh, the box is pretty destroyed. Um, in fact, but uh, so yeah, this has uh, that box has seen better days. Yeah, I, I guess. See, I could. I like I said, I am. I realize why he was like giving, throwing in all these like bonus items. Uh, he probably just wanted to get rid of them. Uh, yeah, even the uh, even the actual tapes are pretty uh, beat up as well. But anyway, here we have uh, cassette one. Number seventy five and the 31st week of 1998. And uh, tape two. Uh, number 79, 32nd week of 1998. So that's pretty cool. Uh, obviously, I don't really need this as I already have uh, Titanic on VHS several times. So, see, I'll probably just probably just gonna donate uh, those two tapes, and uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna just throw away this. Uh, probably just gonna throw away this box just because it's uh, pretty destroyed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll probably just donate these uh, these two VHS tapes individually. Uh, maybe I'll like rubber band them together or something like that. All right. So. And now these, all right, so, oh, oh, nice. Um, so here's the rest of the uh, newspaper. Okay, so we, so then, so then the next, uh, one, two, three, the, the last four VHS tapes, uh, these were pretty cool that he uh, threw these in. Uh, we have a whole bunch of Metallica VHS tapes. So I guess these were, yeah, he said he had some uh, Metallica, like, doubles that he was getting rid of, and uh, I guess that's what these were. Um, so we have, let's, let's see. Are these, two of the, are these two of the same? Okay, now this is tape one and tape two. Um... Ooh, that doesn't sound good. So, right, which one is which of these? Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out here. Um, I'm, 
Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure if these are two of the same or or what, but uh, I got no. Huh. That's okay. I guess these are just. I guess these are two. I, I guess these are two of the same. So we've got two of these uh, Metallica S and M ones. You see, this one says bonus item number two does not play in my VCR. So again, that's. I guess that's why he was getting rid of this one. And uh, yeah, it does look like. Uh, does look like it's uh pretty uh kind of moldy as you can see and uh actually it's uh oh wow there's i just realized all four uh screws are missing on this just the center ones in there okay well huh that's kind of, that's kind of odd And you can see, yeah, there's, all the screws have been taken out of this, except for the center one. I guess maybe, I don't know if that was from somebody else, or if that was from him trying to fix it, or what. But, uh, so yeah, maybe I can get some screws off of uh, another tape and just put this one together. Actually, maybe I'll just take the screws off out of the, uh, the Hercules uh, bootleg tape. But yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it is a little dirty, so, uh... So yeah, this tape, uh, this tape might not actually uh, work, but uh, still pretty cool. And then we have another, uh, a, a second copy here. And uh, this one does look to be in better shape. So, uh, yeah, this one does have all the screws in it, so that's good. The 321st day of 1999. So, yeah. See, I'm going to see if I can uh, maybe get this one to play, but uh, at least I've got this one. And then we also got two other Metallica ones. Uh, this one seems like it's got a, This one, unfortunately, seems to have a piece loose in it, but uh, it's uh, Metallica. A year and a half in the life of part one. Unfortunately, uh, part two was not in here, but uh, I already knew that going into this. Oh, oh, God. oh, gosh. Uh, wow, this thing this actually looks uh, pretty busted, but. Uh, yeah, there's the stick. There's the sticker label. Wow, this uh, looks like this thing got thrown around a bit or something. Uh, at least the film strip looks okay inside. And yeah, so all right, so I'm gonna maybe try to put this in a different uh, different tape shell, and uh, hopefully, it, hopefully it works okay. So there we got that. So I have to be careful with that. And then we got, uh, the last V chest tape is Metallica uh, 1998 Home Vid Cliff Em All. See, this one's a little beat up as well, but that's okay. Like I said, I think they said these were uh, doubles that he was getting rid of, so. Yeah, these are, so yeah, these are pretty cool. Uh, so hopefully after I spruce them up a bit, they'll play okay. Oh wow. So yep, uh no no printy on this one. Film strip looks good and I see the reels are very uh yellowy looking. Yeah, the reels are very the reels have definitely uh aged a bit, but uh I'm sure it'll probably still play okay. So yeah, so that's all the like extra stuff. So yeah, I'll have to I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna 
do, do with all that stuff. Uh, probably won't keep a lot of that stuff just because it's just bonus uh, stuff. And again, I can see I can see why he was uh, getting rid of some of that stuff. But anyway, but now this was the was the main thing that I knew I was getting, and that is oh oh nice. We've got uh, uh, we got all of these uh, CDs here. We got uh, one, two, three, four. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got twelve CDs here, and. Uh, yeah, and all these except for one of them is uh, 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 Ska CDs. Uh, he had a bunch of, uh, uh, for those for those who don't know, uh, recently uh, my friend uh, Punk Nerd uh, got like a whole bunch of uh, CDs from uh, a whole bo a box from uh, Megalith uh, Records, uh, full of a whole bunch of uh, CDs and uh, he kept a couple of them, but then the rest of them, he offered them up to me, and uh, I picked out 10 that I was uh, interested in, but then he threw in a couple of uh, bonus uh, titles. So yeah, these are so yeah, these are pretty cool. These are the things I was most excited about uh, getting. So we're going to, and these are all factory sealed, so we're going to open these up. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll save the two, uh, we'll save these two for last, because those were the two uh, bonus uh, titles, and one of them is really cool i'm sure so all right so, so these were the 10 that i knew that i was uh getting so so first one up uh this one looked pretty cool this is so, the, so this is all like kind of more uh sort of reggae like international like slower ska and like reggae ska and stuff like that so uh yeah so this was so this, so this, so this one looks pretty cool. Uh, this is St. Petersburg Ska Jazz Review. Too good to be true. I was pretty intrigued by this one. Yep, and yeah, a lot of these are by Megalith uh, Records, like I said. So, I'm just gonna open these up. We're going to actually open these all up on camera. So. And Here's the disc. And so yeah, this one looks so yeah, this one looks pretty cool, so Looking forward to uh, probably listening to that at some point. All right, then we also got Victor Rice in America. I looked up some information on this album and uh, it sounded pretty cool, so I decided to buy this one off of him. All right. Here's the disc.
And I'll show you, quickly show you the booklet. So that's awesome. Then we got uh, um, uh, Disordin Publico, the Ska album. I'm guessing this appears to be like a like a greatest hits uh, compilation from uh, this uh, this band. So yeah, that, I thought that was intriguing. All right. Here's the here's the disc to this one. And So pretty cool. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. It's in the pile. Uh, this one is Freddy, uh, Freddy Loco, the Gordo's ska band satellites. Yeah, a lot, yeah, pretty much everything like he was getting rid of uh, was like all the CDs was like interesting was like stuff that I had never heard of. So I basically just uh, I basically picked out the ones that seemed the most intriguing, the most interesting to me. So maybe at some point I'll maybe buy some more off of them. I I have no doubt uh, that I'm gonna probably like these bands, all these bands because. Uh, I do like I do like me some ska, even whether it's uh, fast ska or slow ska or even reggae ska or any kind of ska like that. But, you know, I am. I mean, I am basically trying to get as much. Uh, I have, as you, if you saw my uh, CD collection video, you know that I am trying to get a get myself a bit of a punk and ska collection. So I'm basically just getting anything that I can get my hands on. So. Yeah. Yeah, these are all pretty cool. Uh, this one is the Obsessions, the new heavyweight champion. Uh, this one intrigued me because of that logo right there, Moon Ska World. I'm I'm guessing that's like an international branch of Moon Ska Records. I'm not 100 sure, but uh, yeah, it looks like this is from an international branch of Moon Ska Records. So that's what, that was what intrigued me about this one. So I'm sure this is probably going to be fantastic as well because pretty much every uh, band on Moon, on Moon Scott Records is fantastic. Mm 
Being, this one's being a bit more difficult. Here it is. And, uh, the inside. I just realized I don't think I, I didn't show the inside of uh, the pretty local one. Oh, not that there's really anything on the inside there, but uh, yeah. So pretty cool. Something like that. Uh, Panoya All Star. I Panoya. Ah. Oh. Hanoia All Stars Ska Orchestra Budapest Ska Mood. Yeah, these are all these are all really cool. I have to. Uh, I'm very, I'm very, very glad that he, uh, that Punk Mode was nice enough to offer some of these up to me. Uh, yeah, I'll have to maybe buy some more off of him if he doesn't, if he, if he, depending on, but, uh, yeah, I think these, yeah, it's pretty cool that I at least got all of these. And... Here's the disc, and inside there. Uh, we got Baby Love and the Vandango's Run Run Ruby. I looked up some info on this uh, band, and apparently, apparently they're supposed to be really good. So I was intrigued. So I figured I would buy this uh, CD off of my friend. Disc. 
and stuff on the inside there. Very cool. Uh, yeah, this one, this one unfortunately has a case that's a little uh, busted. Uh, that that did not happen. Thankfully, I that did not happen when it was shipping to me. That actually happened uh, when it was shipping to my uh, friend. So, yeah, this was already. Yeah, this one unfortunately has a busted case, but it's a uh, rice rocket hang loose. <laughs> Right, this is like sort of a Hawaiian sort of ska band, so that sounds intriguing. So yeah, so yeah, unfortunately the case of this one got a little got a little damaged in shipping, but oh well. I I will probably uh, put this one into a better case. So I'm gonna be uh, careful with this one here. Ooh, got little, little, little shards of uh, glass uh, or plastic, whatever, uh, shattering. Okay, yeah, it didn't get okay. It didn't get damaged that too badly, but uh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does does need a does need a uh, still could need a uh, replacement case, so. I will probably get a, I will hopefully at some point get a better case for this one. So, there's this disc, I don't know which weighs the correct weight, but, uh, yeah, there's that. And, uh, some stuff, artwork, it's pretty cool artwork on the inside there. Yeah, from what I uh, from what I read, uh, apparently uh, their apparently their uh, sound is uh, kind of similar to uh, Sublime, just without the uh, without the uh, like the punk without the punk. So uh, yeah, apparently they're very uh, similar to us, uh, the band Sublime. Which I mean, I do I do love I do like me some uh, Sublime. So kind of intrigued by this one. Yeah, I will have to put this one into a a better, I will have to get a better, we'll have to put this one into a better case, but very cool, still. Alright, then we got, ooh, this one sounds like it has a disc loose, but it's, uh, uh, lo, los, los, ganelli something, patio boogie sound system. All right, I'm a little concerned about this one because it sounds like there's something loose in there. Let's see. Oh. Okay, the uh that's that's what that's what happened. Now, unfortunately this one also has a damaged case. The uh the spindle got uh I got completely uh busted in uh shipping. But, uh, 
Luckily, the disc made it through okay, so that's good. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, spindle is completely, uh, completely bust, completely busted. But so, so I'll have to. I mean, luckily the re the rest of the case is fine. Just the spindle got messed up, so I'll I'll have to get another uh, spindle for this one. All right. I'll just leave, leave that one out of the case for right now. So I'm going to put a new spindle on that one immediately. All right. And then we got the last, uh, the, this was the last one out of the 10 that I knew uh, that I was uh, getting. This is uh, the fantastic sound of Carlos Dingo presents Sky is Dangerous. <laughs> Again, I did a bit, looked up this one, looked up some more info on this one, and uh, it sounded pretty cool, so I got it. So like I said, I basically uh, picked up, I basically picked out the 10 titles that I was the most interested in, then he was nice enough to throw in a couple of uh, bonus uh, titles. So that was, so that was nice of him to do that. But, and I can't recently get this uh, open. Inside there. So very cool. So that was the so, so yeah, those were the ten titles that I knew I was getting. So because I specifically asked for him to send me those ten CDs, but uh, he threw in a couple bonus titles. Uh, this was also one of the ones that he uh, offered up, and uh, I was kind of intrigued by it because of what it says on the back here. But, but then I, but uh, luckily enough, he was nice to throw it in as a bonus title, the Void Union. Higher guns. This one did kind of intrigue me because of what it says on the back here. 13 new ska soak tunes with guest appearances by members of The Slackers, Westbound Train, Fishbone, Stubborn All Stars, and so many more. See, so yeah, so yeah, the fact that they did have members of like Fishbone and stuff like that intrigued me. So I was kind of intrigued by this one, but then I decided to go with uh, some of the other ones instead. But uh, he threw it in as a bonus title, so that's so that was nice of him. So yeah, I am kind of intrigued by this one, so looking forward to listening to it. So yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to uh, popping these uh, C's in and uh, 
just hearing what they uh, sound like. Here's the disc, the CD, and that thing on the inside there. So very cool. And then the last, the very last thing in this box and the last CD, uh, this is definitely not ska or punk related, but uh, it is something pretty awesome. And uh, he did say, he did, I do remember him saying that he was going to throw this in as an extra item because I guess this was a, uh, just a double that uh, he didn't want. So he let me have it. And uh, yeah, this, as, as much, as much as I am excited about all that, uh, all that ska stuff uh this is pr this is probably the coolest thing uh in in here so glad he, glad he uh decided to throw this in as an extra and that is slayer diabolus in musica yes i uh i do like me uh some slayer uh i i like i mean metallica is good as well but uh yeah i, I do like me some uh slayer and uh I actually do not have uh, any Slayer in my uh, collection. Ex well, with the ex except for this uh, this awesome NASCAR uh, Crink It Up CD, which does have a Slayer track uh, on there. So, yeah, but this is my first time owning any act any one of any one of Slayer's uh, actual albums. So, yeah, this was pretty cool, and I'm glad he's. I'm very happy that he threw this in as a bonus album. So. Yeah, so my first, uh, my first, my first uh, Slayer CD, and uh, yeah, so we are gonna open this one up right now, and uh, yep, uh, actually this one looks like it's already kind of opening, so. This one's got some. This one's got some. This one's got a couple of cracks in front, but I can always replace that. And unfortunately, we got uh, we got this uh, one of these uh, security things on the top, so I try to get that off. So yeah, uh, so yeah, this was like I said, this was very nice for uh, Pumner to uh, offer me all, offer all this uh, stuff up to me. And uh, like I said, the, the bonus beat chest tapes are pretty cool, but uh, the CDs were what I was most excited about, and the stuff I knew that I was definitely getting. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna maybe replace the front of that. Oh, nice. <laughs> and uh, here's what the here's the CD. Here's the inside there.
so yeah that was that was pretty that was really cool that he that he uh, threw this in as a bonus item along with alongside all these uh all these ska CDs. Alrighty. So there you go. So that was everything uh, that was in this box. And uh, yeah, there's the and there's the disc for uh, for that one. So I gotta I'm gonna try to get a new uh, spine for that. Yeah, so basically, so all these uh so all these really cool uh, CDs, uh, you know, all the Star ones, and then the Slayer, and then uh, oh, and uh, this uh, CD, this bonus uh, CD as well. That pro probably is this. Pro this is probably just gonna go in the trash just because it's uh, it's in just because it's in really bad condition. And then uh, a, bunch, a whole bunch of extra VHS tapes. So yeah, so I'm definitely so I'm de so I'm definitely gonna keep uh I'm definitely keeping all these uh CDs here because uh yeah this is uh this is some this is definitely some some good stuff that I'm pretty excited about. Uh again this is probably just gonna go in the trash because it's it's complete it's completely unusable. And then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with these uh VHS tapes. Uh I'm gonna maybe uh test some of them out first and uh maybe see if I can some yeah, some some of them I gotta uh, see if I can like put some of them back together. Uh, like the year, like the year and a half for the life of part one that was completely uh, beat up. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just I'm gonna test these out to see if they actually work, and uh, I'll figure out what to do with them later. And uh, yeah, probably just gonna throw this away because it's ripped up. So yeah, so like I said, some CDs I'm definitely keeping, and then. Uh, some VHS saves that I got to decide what I'm going to do with those. All right. So, uh, thank you very much, uh, Punk Nerd for, uh, sending me all these, uh, awesome goodies. And, uh, hopefully, uh, maybe at some point I'll buy some more stuff off of you. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna maybe listen, definitely gonna listen to, uh, some of those, uh, CDs at some point, uh, cause I'm very interested in hearing some of those bands and, uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna listen to this at some point because uh, I do like me some Slayer, like I said. So uh, yeah, so yeah, thank you, uh, thank you very much, Pung Nerd, for all the awesome goodies and uh, and yeah. So and if I ever if I'm ever interested in buying some more stuff off you, I, I'll let you know. But uh, for now, this uh, this will do me good for probably the next uh, couple weeks or so. Yeah. So yeah, uh, so not much more else to say. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I think probably almost hour long uh, video. Uh, however long this uh, took. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how long this has been recording for, but I know it's gone on for a while. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, special uh, little bonus uh, video. And uh, I will see you next time. And again, uh, I do have uh, I do have some stuff back there that's. I got recently but i'm gonna probably uh save that for another video and uh yeah so i'm probably just gonna do like a i'll save that for another video like i said uh i'll probably just do like some like a video at some point of uh some stuff that i've like gone over the past like couple weeks and uh i will uh i will show i will include some of that stuff in there so, so yeah that'll be for another video like i said but uh yeah See, I got. See, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be busy the next uh, couple weeks, uh, just because of the because of this awesome uh, package. So yeah, and like I said, I'm glad that, that came to be super fast. And yeah. So not much else. Not more. Not the. Uh, not much more else to say except uh, thank you very much, Punk Nerd, for all the awesome goodies, and uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hope, hope to all you watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, special bonus video because like i said this is going to be a video that's going to be exclusive to my uh 2022 update videos uh playlist so this will be for the this will be a special video for the true the true my true fans basically so yeah so not much else to say except uh see you next time have a good one guys peace